All right, guys, so one of the issues that I'm running into is I'm doing three different types of security. I'm doing my uh, company one security, which is generally static sites, like retail, uh, bank establishment, things like that. Uh, another uh, avenue that I'm working is with a, a second company that's more of a roving patrol, right? And then uh, third is with the first company, which is doing executive protection. But one of the issues that I'm running into is getting off of one shift and then going directly to another shift and honest, excuse me, obviously um, switching uniforms, right? So right now, as you can see, I've got my uh, Glock 17 Gen 3 on my hip here. It's in my level three ALS holster. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, take out my firearm. I'm gonna clear this weapon. Weapon is now clear and free of magazines and ammunition. Go ahead and put this off to the side here. So wearing a different set of pants uh, and, and taking off my belt and then also for the executive protection, uh, we're in plain clothes. So what I'm gonna do, I purchased a uh, Safari Land uh, quick release system and I already have, if I can pull this out here, a paddle that has the quick release system already attached. So what I'm gonna do is pause this. I'm gonna take off my level three holster. I'm going to remove the, well, let me think here for a second. <laughs> I'm going to remove the belt loop that's on it, okay? And I'm going to replace that with the paddle. This already has the female side uh, attached to the paddle that would just go directly onto uh, your belt buckle or your pants so you would have an outside the waistband holster attachment. I'm going to go ahead and screw on the male portion to the level three holster. So give me a second to take it off of my belt and I'll be right back. All right, guys, so uh, right now you're looking at a level three ALS Safari Land um, holster. This is for my Glock 17 without the optic and without the light, okay? So I'm just showing you the original um, uh, backing that will go on your belt, okay? So it has the, the loops for your belt. But what I'm doing is I'm taking that back off, which is exactly the same uh, on my um, light bearing and optic holster. So same holster just for the optic and for the light. Um, it has the exact same backing. So I took that off and then uh, placed the male portion, if you can see that, of the quick release system on here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and tighten that up a little bit. And again, this is the paddle that has the female already attached. And I'm gonna go ahead and just give this a quick twist just to be on the safe side. Make sure that's tight. Yep, all right. So, in theory, I should be able to uh, have the firearm, again, clear. Right. No ammunition, no magazine. I'll go ahead and insert this into the holster. Okay. And we will now do the insertion. And that is ready to go right up against the hip and the belt for an outside the waistband paddle holster. All right. And then to release that, we're just going to squeeze here. And it's hard to do this without having access there. There we go. So in theory, this would be on my waist and I'm able to squeeze that and withdraw the firearm, okay? So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the uh, second female portion that I have and we're gonna mount that to uh, the loop, okay, holster portion that will remain on my belt, on my duty belt. So in theory, what will happen is this will mount like this and I'll be able to uh, take the firearm completely off uh, in the holster and then quickly put that onto the paddle. Uh, that'll go into my second uh, different uniform 
or my plain clothes uniform, okay? And then I won't have to uh, just run the belt through there. So you might be asking yourself, why not just wear the paddle with all three? Well, it has to do with the location of where I worked the first job. I wanna make sure that that belt is more secure uh, based on the amount of people that are walking behind me um, and the type of people that I'm around. Uh, I don't necessarily, just for defensive purposes, um, wanna have that paddle holster. I feel pretty confident and comfortable with it, but I feel more secure uh, having the, the loop system on the duty belt uh, for that first uh, gig. So I'm gonna go ahead and try and mount these and then we'll come back and see if everything fits. All right, thank you. Hang on, hang on. Sorry guys, my wife's in the background talking. Um, so anyway, I have the, this now attached uh, to the belt loop, okay? And we'll give this a quick test. Outstanding, and it holds. And it withdraws, excellent. So we're now good with the um, quick release system uh, for the belt loop holder and for the paddle. And I actually have a third one that I'm going to install on my drop leg holster. So that'll give me a couple of different options uh, to be able to quickly switch out this firearm and make sure that I um, am all set up no matter what I'm using what I'm using or utilizing for that day. All right, so just wanted to share this with you guys. Hope everybody's doing great. And as always, be great. Watch your six. Take care.